Okay, good. So, hello and welcome everyone to Joint Venture Europe monthly webinar. This is uh, December the 4th today and 2014 as you can see here on the screen and we are so happy to have you welcome. Um, we've got a lot of new news to share with you guys tonight. Suzanne and I um, has started this uh, journey in the summertime and we set up this program as a pilot phase and we're going to let you know uh, where we stand with that. Before we get started, can I have just a show of hands if you can hear me? I just let me see your hands if I can, uh, if you can hear me. Great, great. Anurata, Hannah, Gwendolyn, Judith. Don't know if she can hear me, but we'll see in a moment. Olga has also just joined us. How is the tone? Give me, give me a quick um, information in the questions box if you can hear me loud enough. Uh, or if it's too loud, great, awesome, because a little bit a while ago we had some problems. So, good, good, thank you, loud and clear, I can hear you very well. Great, great, thanks guys for that information, that helps a lot. So, who you also see here is the beautiful Susanna Rohr, who's going to introduce herself in a minute. <laughs> she's our, she's our <laughs> lipstick lady. So we finally got her. <laughs> we finally get her up and ready to, um, to participate. She was having some problems getting on board, but uh, we've got it covered now. So, if you've been to um, these webinars before, which most of you have, as I can see from the people who are here on board, you know that Joint Venture Europe is all about. Um, the little bees. We're the little bees and alone we're awesome, but when we come together um, we can pollinate fields and fields and fields of flowers and um, you know worldwide. So it's all about um, taking the power of the individual and putting them together in the group and looking like how can we cooperate to make um, more things happen in our businesses and the world and so on. So it's all about teamwork that makes the dream work. That's our motto here by Joint Venture Europe. And uh, yeah, thanks for being part of the team. So we're going to give the word over to Miss Susanna, our lipstick lady tonight. Miss <laughs> Susanna is going to introduce herself. She's my co-founder of this initiative. Yes, we are. Uh, thank you. Um, okay, my name is Susan. I'm from Germany. I live in Germany and have my own business where I support solo entrepreneurs. I assist them in gaining more customers and developing their businesses and gaining consistent success on and offline, specializing in marketing support and personal development through coaching. That's it. Short and quick. Short and sweet. Thank you, Susanna. <laughs> thank you. And you guys know me as well. My name is Shelia Stevens. I'm the virtual coach from ShaliaStevens.com, where whoops, whoa, I clicked too far. Where we teach experts and teams how to bring uh, their know-how online and reach more people. And coming up next year, going also more toward um, how, always having enough clients. So um, that's going to be a new a new program coming out uh, next year, which I'm really excited about. And today on the agenda, we're going to roll like we always roll. We're going to do the JV Europe news. There's um, some really important news to share with you tonight. Then we're going to have uh, Anurata come on board and she's going to pitch her joint venture idea. We don't have two flirts tonight, but rather one. We're going to hear from Gwendolyn Rugen um, about herself, her business, and who she serves. And then there's going to be an opportunity for questions and answers, as usual. And we're going to send you away tonight with a link to a questionnaire, which some of you may have already taken part in. Um, but what it's all about, it'll, it'll get clear more toward the end of the webinar. So keep an eye out for that. So without further ado, um, let's have a look at JD News for today. And yeah, here's the big news. So Susanna and I started this initiative about six months ago, and our original motivation for creating Joint Venture Europe was that we wanted to be the change that we wanted to see in the world. So that meant in our marketplace in Germany, um, we had the feeling that there just wasn't anything going on, uh, in, you know, for people to be able to join up together and find joint venture partners. There wasn't an organization for it. There wasn't a group for it that we knew of, um, especially for people who are interested in online business and growing their list. And so we decided to be that change and, and start that up. 
And we also said, you know, beginning out that we would like to test out the concept for six months. And I don't know if uh, any of you know me, you know that I'm all about like getting a pilot project started, getting it on the street, testing out, you know, how that goes and, and going from there. So Susanna and I have come to the conclusion, drum roll, <laughs> that we are going to change the JV Europe format for ourselves into JV Germany. Um, the reason being that we both speak to the German market space. We don't um, offer global offerings in, in English. I mean, I do have clients um, abroad. Um, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's all going to be in German. Gwendolyn's asking, yeah, it will be in German, and we will be uh, bringing together joint venture partners from Germany, Austria, and Switzerland together. Um, another reason, well, I think I think it's a logical consequence because you know she and I are both not offering in English and not being uh, you know present in the European space, you know, across different countries besides the German speaking space. It just makes more sense for us, and a lot of people who um, wanted to present their businesses uh, didn't. What was it? Uh, can speak fast in German, but not in English. Am I speaking too fast? <laughs> Gwendolyn, let me know. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people who we asked to get on board um, to present at JV, JV Europe, they didn't want to come and show up because they didn't really speak English that well. And so it, it's a big hurdle for a lot of people in our marketplace, um, which is more of a hurdle than we thought it would be. So this pilot will be ending um, in December. However, um, we want to open up an opportunity for any of you, and we're going to put the message out there onto the board as well, anybody of you who would like to continue uh, and keep Joint Venture Europe alive, you are welcome to do so. So the URL and uh, the, the format uh, that we started with, you are more than welcome to take over and adapt. And maybe there will be some opportunities in the future to bring the German JV Germany chapter with the JV Europe chapter and, and see what happens. So um, if you are interested in continuing and keeping it on, please you know, write me a, a, a private message in Facebook um, and let me know that you're interested in that. And we'll, have a, we'll jump on Skype and we'll have a talk about it and uh, see where that's going to going to go. So you might, you might be one of the new initiators uh, sitting here in the, the hot seat and, and with your own lipstick lady, right? <laughs> Susanna! <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado, we are going to um, you know, continue on tonight's Joint Venture Europe concept as usual and get the most value out of it as possible. We are recording, it will be put online as well, so you still will have an opportunity to um, get exposure for your ideas, so don't worry about that. So it is time to pitch, and I think we have a lovely lady who would like to to do that, and so we're going to go ahead and turn off our webcams uh, so that we can give the floor over to Anurada and let her have the floor. So, Anurada, would you? I'm going to put you. Anurada, would you want to show up with the, with your webcam or or just with your voice? What do you What do you prefer? Um, I'm comfortable with either, but I don't know how to bring my webcam on. Let me it's let so me funny. let me make you an organizer and. Um, okay. So just don't touch any of the buttons because, you know, then uh, you might throw us out of the webinar after, but I'm going to put you as an organizer. No, okay. <laughs> so, there we go. Ah, oh, Heather Hansen is coming. So, okay. Anurata, do, mm -hmm. do you see now where you can uh, do your webcam? You should have gotten a new place in the panel. Yep. So share my webcam. Yes, thank you. Okay. So it's saying it's in use by another application. Uh, okay, give me a second. Okay, I'll go ahead and get your presentation started up while you're while you're doing that. Okay. Well, while I'm doing while I'm getting my webcam stuff sorted, um, I'll introduce myself. My name is Anuradha Kota. I am a transformation consultant at ManifestByDesign.com. And the, the work I do is basically bringing successful professionals and CEOs into their, into strategic alignment with who they 
who they came in to be so they can maximize their results. And um, basically, all right, it says it's loading. Can you see my face now? Um, not yet, but we'll give it, we'll give it a minute. Okay, okay. Right, there, there you go. are. Hi. I can see you. <laughs> awesome. There you go. So yeah, um, so we have just finished a massive rebrand and i am basically gotten really clear on what it is I want to be doing and as I've been sharing lately, I'm trying to come out of the closet as well, not, not um, just sharing my message, stop hiding essentially and that's when I'm encouraging other entrepreneurs and other successful people to share their message in a bigger way and reach more people. Awesome, and you and you have a, a, a joint venture idea that you're going to present tonight. Is that correct, Anuradha? Yes, absolutely. I was thinking to start a tour where this is my idea of manifest by design that you can create the life you want. So one of the things that my family loves to do is travel. So I and I love to teach, so I wanted to combine both. So these are the places we wanted to travel, and we're going to do tour stops where I'm teaching people to create their movement, manifest movement, and it'll be a tour starting for next year. And so the joint venture idea is for you in this community, if you would, if it feels right to you to support the, the joint venture and help me promote the event and even come and manifest your own movement. Okay. So, like, are you going to tell us more about like what's going to happen on the manifest movement, Anurata? Like, what's going to go on in those in those uh, events where you're traveling around and teaching people? What's what's going to happen there? Yeah, I, I can talk about that. Can we perhaps switch the slide? Yeah, of course. There we go. How do I do that? Oh, there we go. Yes. So basically, it's where you're going to be on the stage, and so what I'm calling it is basically for people to stop hiding and to own their stage. And I'm positioning it as finding the marketing strategies that are right for you. So it's not that I'm here to tell about marketing, but essentially my background is in teaching, and um, and it is a fair amount of marketing because you have to make it interesting, especially when I was a teenager. Uh, sorry, I wasn't a teenager. When I was teaching teenagers, they didn't care about atoms or biology and cells. They didn't care about any of it. You have to pitch it in such a way they actually care about the content. And I'm also a dancer. I've been trained since the age of four and so on. So it's really engaging the people in the audience. They understand what you're talking about. They feel some resonance with you and they actually want to get on board. They're inspired to take some kind of action. So in this two-day event, people, the participants will have this opportunity to first understand what their design is, to start understanding the perhaps the negative messaging around why people aren't some people aren't stepping onto their stage. Some people are hiding out partly because it's part of their soul's journey, just like mine is, to step out and embrace, even though it's scary to do so. But some people also have added um, added problems or added um, things to overcome from their childhood or from other things that have shown up in their life that make it more tricky to get out there. So we will spend the first day really understanding those reasons and coming up with who you're talking to and why what you have to say will speak to them and how to um, create your message so it's interesting to them and that they will captivate them. Mm -hmm. And then the second day we really spend a lot of time actually talking, pretend, like uh, not pretending, we'll actually get up on a stage and talk to the other people in the room and share our message. And we learn to give feedback, accept criticism with grace, to give criticism, to be in the audience, and then to share ideas in a mastermind situation in the afternoon. So it's really a holistic event that allows you, the participants, it's, you know, it's, not, it's not meant to be huge groups, it's meant to be you know, intimate groups of 20 or so. And each person then has an opportunity to speak and get heard and get seen, and then also overcome the obstacles that are keeping them from you, from creating their movement, basically. Okay, so when you talk about creating a movement, you talk about them really, like really creating a movement in the world. So in, in the fact that they're getting their message out there, they're reaching their target audience, they're showing up, they're being visible, mm -hmm. they're they're making they're making movement in the world, or they're creating a movement in the world. 
both, both. I mean, some people's movements are, they're not trying to make a big movement. They're just trying to be happy in their own lives and create harmony and stability in their home or in their community or, or their team, for instance. That may be the, the biggest impact they're trying to make, really. Mm -hmm. But some people have, you know, negative things that happen to them. Like one of the examples I often use is the lady who started, um, it's an American project, um, Mothers Against Dr Drunk Drivers. Mm -hmm. This lady lost her daughter in a, a drunk driving accident. So she took it upon herself to start this movement around um, mothers against drunk drivers. And she wants to teach people against, you know. So I am not a fan of the against kind of stance in general, but she took this pain that she experienced of losing her daughter and she turned it into something really beautiful to help raise awareness and change the dynamic because oftentimes in the U.S. the laws against drunk drivers aren't that steep. Mm -hmm. So they often get away with it and there's repeat offenders. So that's her message and that wouldn't have shown up unless she took her pain and turned it into something. So it could be a really small movement of, you know, a teacher sharing their message and changing one child's life, and I, I, I've experienced that, but it can be much bigger and bigger than ourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Anuradha, can you, you said it to the beginning of a little bit, you know, about the target group that you have for your business. Maybe you can go into more detail about who you're targeting with this event, like who would be the ideal people that you'd love to have in the audience, just so that the people who are listening can also see like, oh, okay, this, or this is a complimentary audience to who I serve, or so they can kind of just recognize that. Yeah, excellent. Good question, Jolia. You're very good at this, by the way. <laughs> it would be some big shoes to follow for whoever took over Joint Venture Europe after. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, well, it's the truth. Um, so, yeah, the, the ideal client that I'm looking for are people, um, and, and I'm not limiting it to just entrepreneurs, although oftentimes this will speak to more successful entrepreneurs than, um, than people working who have a professional job, but either can be the case, where these people, the tendency is to hide. They are playing a small game. They're hiding behind busyness and doing too much and overwhelm and they are feeling perhaps disconnected and they're struggling quite a bit in their lives. Mm -hmm. And they might be successful, but they haven't reached the level of success they want. Mm -hmm. The other thing that makes them kind of similar is that they've had a, some sort of shift, and that could be conscious or unconscious. You know, they're just hitting, hitting an age where the things that used to work in um, what Wayne, Wayne Dyer calls what worked in the morning of my life doesn't work in the evening of my mm -hmm. life. So the dynamics of my life have shifted. So I'm going into a meaning phase of my life. So me just striving for more sales or more accolades or bigger house aren't cutting it anymore. Mm -hmm. That I might still want those things or I might it might be like there might be responsibilities that I still have to take care of what I already have to do. Right. But the desire to create that kind of success and that kind of thing is not important. It's creating a close connection with family or community, or it's you know strengthening your team. It's being having more meaning and slowing down and enjoying life a little bit more, and you know being more grateful and being on purpose. Like that soul song that is inside them needs to come out, and they you know they're really struggling and they really prefer to do that, but they don't know how and the biggest fear is, if I do that, if I do that, then am I going to lose the success I already have? Yeah. Like, am I going to have to start back at square zero again? And am I going to fail? Am I going to lose it all? And in the process, will I lose what I've already built up, the connections, the network, my relationship with my partner, and so on? Okay. Okay. So let me let me let me tell you back to what what I just heard. So on the one hand, you've got the entrepreneurs who are you know successful in their own way, but they're still playing small. They they could be doing having a lot more success, and they're going to recognize that this is for them um, when they hear you know you're not being visible, you're not putting yourself out there, you're pl you're playing small. That this, those are some maybe some ways that they're going to understand that this is for them. And like you could show up bigger. You could, you know, increase increase your 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 movement, your message, your visibility. 
And then on the other hand, the, the leaders that you were talking about to the beginning, so successful people, so maybe they're not entrepreneurs, they're, they're in corporations and they, um, they've had this sort of inner shift where they're just, they're just recognizing like what was going on before isn't, isn't working now and I need to change something and I need to you know, do that in a way that, that is more purposeful to me than what's been going on up until now. And so they're going to recognize that it's for them um, more about uh, just kind of getting, just kind of hitting a wall as far as, you know, this can't be it and there's got to be more out there and, and, and what is the courage that I need to have to take that next step? Is that, is that kind of accurate? Like, Yeah, that's perfect. You said it exactly perfectly. And I think the, the, the similarity is though both groups, we all have that shift. Even entrepreneurs are having that shift to that. You know, and the reason that perhaps their business isn't succeeding is because they're not sharing that true message that's inside. Mm -hmm. So that that's another point that I, you know, after hearing what you just said, that's something else I wanted to add. That that's part of the reason why we're not having the level of success we can is because we're still hiding our truth. Okay, okay. And, so that's really good. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing, right? So the common denominator mm -hmm. is really like finding the truth within you like knowing it's there and knowing you know what you're what you're putting out to the world and how you're living in the world is not in that truth and finding it and then shifting toward doing it like okay now I'm gonna live in this truth and this is the movement that I'm gonna be making mm -hmm. That's exactly right. cool and so Anurata, what kind of JV partners are you looking for? Like, if you if you were to have like a JV party, and you know you got all these people on board to promote your to promote your event, like what what are the characteristics that would um, that you would like most like to see in a JV partner? What are you looking for there? Well, that's a great question. Again, um, I think the biggest thing would be that they acknowledge to a degree that they could probably step bigger into themselves too and that's part of the message they're sharing they're trying to inspire mm -hmm. others to you know to to be their true selves mm -hmm. so that's part of their even if that's not their main message that is part of what they're sharing with people that in doing your work whatever your soul's work is that you're elevating people through that work that you're making them be the better version of themselves so that's certainly a common denominator. Mm -hmm. um, another thing is they just be enthusiastic. They themselves understand that uh, that there's different methods of, you know, I don't want it to be limited to um, the stage, although I use the stage metaphor, but it's people who wouldn't necessarily think just art. It needs to be seen. Teaching is an art. Teaching, you know, teaching has the message. Um, speaking, even doing these webinars, these are all different ways we can share our voice and share our knowledge. Mm -hmm. So they, I don't want them to be limited in their thinking. They want to be thinking perhaps with the this new media mindset that there's different ways to reach our people, and they are exploring some of those new media options themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know, so even so, even myself would you know, I would I would be someone who, you know, I work with my coaches and trainers and consultants, and you know, it's it's a huge part. Like I can teach them marketing strategies and online strategies all day long, but if they're not living their truth and and you know, bringing their truth as a message into the world, that they're going to be holding themselves back as well, right? So they're not going to be wanting to be visible around around that. So. You know, even someone like myself who, with my clients, that would be applicable, right? And I, cer yeah. I certainly want to inspire them uh, to elevate, um, you know, other people through their work, and that's what they do. So that makes total sense. Mm -hmm. So are these, these like, I understand these are live events. So where are you guys going to? So where, where are the tour stops? So, like, if you, if, you know, I have a German audience, so would you guys be coming to Germany, or what places are you going to? Well, I'll be in the UK in three different places. Mm -hmm. um, here in on Isle of Wight, mm -hmm. um, one in London, and the London one will be in May, mm -hmm. and um, the and then in Scotland, mm -hmm. I'll be there in later this summer. So those are choices. There's also three events in the US, mm -hmm. in Arizona, in um, in the East Coast, in New York. Or, um, all the, the places haven't yet, yet been, like we haven't booked the actual place yet, but we've already figured out the dates and so on. And the, the last one would be potentially in Florida at this time next year. Okay. So that 
and then we're thinking of one in Italy as well. But there's a couple other options open up to us to perhaps do one in Canada and one somewhere else in the world. So we're, we're looking at those possibilities right now. Basically, if we have enough people who show interest, I would be happy to do it pretty much anywhere uh, within reason. Of <laughs> anywhere within reason. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this might also be something that speaks to people who not only are trying to find their truth and, and you know get their movement going, but maybe someone who just likes to travel. Maybe someone who's um, interested as well. I mean, you know, like like like-minded people um, attract other like-minded people. So if you guys are doing this out of travel reasons as well, maybe your target audience is also in that kind of mindset. Like, yeah, I'm going to go to Arizona, Gwendolyn Road down here. I love Arizona. I know she does because she's there all the time. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So would that be would that be fair yeah. to say that that could be like also a selling point? Like, come to this cool location, and we're going to do it there and. Yeah, exactly. The beautiful weather and so on. And it's also a big part of my company stands for Manifest by Design. So it is creating your life by design. So, you know, instead of trying to pick the default and live on the crumbs, I really ask my clients and people who I work with to create their life by design. So what is it you really want? And so I'm trying to set an example that, hey, you can design your life um, purposely. Yeah. So we want to travel. So yes, people who love to travel, maybe people who want, like you said, looking for like-minded, um, like-minded entrepreneurs, or you know, people, basically people who are starting a movement, who are interested to play a bigger game, right? So this would be excellent um, networking opportunity. Mm -hmm. And then one other thing is the people who um, who I tend to attract sometimes don't have a lot of clarity on what it is they want. They often are hiding behind like um, like pretending to be confused yeah. and pre you know so like I don't know what I want so this kind of event when I talk to people when I spend the time with them especially for the people who maybe want to do the VIP upgrade that on either end of each event I put in a few VIP days so you can actually get the clarity of what it is you want to create in your whole life and then use the two day event to get clear on your message so you know so perhaps you need that transformation experience where you've been seen for just who you are and that's something else I uniquely bring that I can tell what people you know see them for who they are and love them anyway, and I think a lot of people don't get to be seen like that, and a lot of people don't get their dreams heard ever at all. Yeah. So that's something special that we'll also be touching on at the event. That won't be the focus of the event, but certainly we'll talk about it. I think that's totally interesting, and I think I think you need to write that down in like in bold letters. You know, like you want clarity about what you want, and you're hiding behind confusion. That's so powerful, and I think so many people who who are who are in that position will recognize that immediately. Immediately, that really mm -hmm. I think is a resonating sentence. And here at the bottom, here at the bottom, I can see uh, Olga's already writing Scotland. <laughs> with several, with several exclamation points. Let me see. She's got three going on <laughs> down there. Yeah, excellent. I love to meet uh, to meet Olga again up there in Scotland. I know you guys. Um, you guys met there before, right? Yeah, that's right. She's she's pretty awesome. Another unschooler. So that's another thing, you know. Hey, we're doing our life by design. You know, we want to unschool, and we're we're making that happen. Yeah, that is so awesome. I love that idea. This would be we we should do a whole webinar on that. We should start a whole webinar series. Even though I don't have kids, I just love that idea, and I, I tell that to Olga all the time. <laughs> so I'm gonna just ask them into the into the group. Does anybody who's uh, listening now have any questions about? What Anuradha is talking about, like about her event and what she's looking for, and any any sort of like clarity that you need. Don't, don't hide behind confusion. Just come on and write us a question <laughs> in the questions box. So we'll give them a chance to think about that and write some stuff. So anything else that would be important for you to convey and communicate, Anuradha, about? Yeah. Do you mind switching? To I don't the mind at all. Of course, I, I would do that for you. No problem. There you go. Yeah, so, so basically what it is right now is I'm launching a video series right now, Stop Hiding and Own Your Stage. So that's going on right now. The, the posts have already started going out. Um, they're going to be delivered this month. And um, when I wrote this, I didn't have the dates written down, so I just kept it like that. But if you're interested, I'll send you the dates. 
Um, then after after we send those three videos, I'll do a webinar. And so right now I've got pre-sale tickets on, you know, pre-sale going on, and to just start talking about it. But the doors will seriously be open. The, the push will start after that webinar or on that webinar. And then you know, I'm for a regular tickets 197 pounds. I'm offering a 97 pound commission if for a regular ticket and for that VIP ticket. They're selling for 847 pounds, and you can get a 247 pound commission. So, and you know, I don't have a fancy, you know, Infusionsoft system thing yet. So we'll we'll be using a little low tech thing through PayPal and so on. But you know, that's plenty. I'm not looking for thousands of people to this event. I'm looking total overall for about 120 tickets to be sold. Mm -hmm. That's my goal. So you know, I think we can manage. 120 tickets um, in this structure, and then I have I'm creating promotional materials. They're pretty much all set, but there's a couple of Facebook posts that I haven't finished yet. So it's it's really all ready for you. Okay, awesome. So Olga's writing. You were already. She's writing. Love the idea, and I feel like it would be useful for my clients and peeps. We'll get in touch with you. Would like to promote okay. the live events, especially the one in Edinburgh. So that that's already you've got your first one there. And, and all the all the sessions are already coming, so you've got your first ticket sold. <laughs> Yay, thank you, Olga. I'm so excited. You're one of the people that I really wanted to, you know, work with in this. And that's one reason we're trying to come to Scotland to, you know, so we can spend time with you and your family, right? That's one of the reasons we want to come up there. And then we thought, why don't we do an event there too? Yay. So that would be fabulous. <laughs> She's writing, yay, yay, yay. If you could hear her, yeah. if you could hear her texting, <laughs> that's what it would sound like. <laughs> so okay. that's awesome. So where so where could the people on this webinar get in touch with you or people who are listening to the recording on Arata, how do you want them to contact you if they are interested? Well, I didn't even write that here. That's silly of me. Um, you can either go on the Facebook um, in the JV Europe group, and I'll put a little post if you're interested. Just you know, you know, put a line there or send me a PM mm -hmm. uh, in in through Facebook, and you know, you can always get in touch through the website manifestbydesign.com. I mean, or it's Anuradha at manifestbydesign.com, but I know that gets cumbersome because <laughs> most people can't spell my name correctly. Yeah. So don't worry about that. Just the easiest the easiest way just through the group, if you ping me, we can get in touch. It's really not a problem. Okay. Okay. Manifestbydesign.com is the website. Manifestbydesign.com and there is a contact um, area there that you can use and then, and then get in touch with Anurada or post her on the mm -hmm. JOB Europe Facebook group and she's really uncomplicated. You can just ping her and she, you guys will get together <laughs> and talk about it. That's right. Simplicity is my motto, so just keep it simple. Um, we, we'll figure it out. Um, I'm really excited to do this. I'm really lucky to have the opportunity to to pitch this because, you know, um, I don't know. I It just kind of all worked out perfectly. And thank you, Shalia and Susanna, for hosting and doing all this work to support us. It really... It really has shifted my perspective of what's possible to connect with other Europeans. Good, good, good. Well, I hope, I really hope that someone, you're welcome, number one, and I really hope that um, somebody does take it over because I think for the people who, who are working in English across Europe and across the world, that it's a really awesome opportunity, you know, to, to keep it alive. So I think, I think it's definitely a good thing. Thank you so much, Anurata, that you that you pitched your idea. I love it, and I wish you all the success in the world. That you guys fill up your programs, that you get your 120 tickets, and even better. And I will be keeping keeping an eye on you guys. So, thanks so much. I'm going to keep you as an organizer, Anurata. And if you just turn your webcam off, and I'm going to go on and switch over to Gwendolyn and, and make her an organizer. And maybe there'll be some questions in the, in the FAQ later on. So that if so, I will come back to you on that. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. Let's get Gwendolyn going to an organizer. Gwendolyn, I'm switching you over. Um, pulling up your presentation. So let's see here. Gwendolyn, your web camera is just about to go on. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Gwendolyn. Oh, great. But there's no picture. It is probably loading. 
It is probably loading up. We'll just do a little bit of a chit chat before it gets going. So guys, we're moving on from the JUB pitch idea um, onto the flirt segment. And as you guys know, um, it's all about flirt till you drop, you know, just trying to um, <laughs> let, let the other guys in the group uh, know who you are, what you do, who you serve, and how you do that. And we are going to turn the floor over to Gwendolyn Rugen, who we can't see yet, but I'm, I'm sure this video webcam will turn on eventually. And if not, we'll just look at her slides and listen to her beautiful voice. Welcome, Gwendolyn. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Well, I'm a little confused because um, in the beginning you said it next time or next year, it's all in German, it would be much easier for me, but um, okay, well I will do this in English and um, as you can see on my website, uh, it's, it's a mixture, I couldn't really decide whether I want to speak German or English, so um, the, the top line is all in English and um, everything I write on my web page is in German. It's probably a little confusing, but that's how it is. Um, maybe uh, I start you can see my picture on the right. I, ha I hope everybody can see that yes. because my webcam probably doesn't work. Well, it, it shows me it works, but there's no picture. I cannot see any video picture. No, I can't. Of myself. I can't and either, Gwendolyn. But you know, it took a while for Unerotus to, to load up, so we'll okay. just give it a, a little chance. You can just keep talking, and then if not, we'll it'll okay. Be okay. So um, yeah, thank you for introducing me. My name is Gwendolyn Ruhm. And um, I'm an e-learning e -learning specialist, webinar specialist. Well, I started with e-learning, um, the, the real e-learning, like everything, all those um, web-based training and computer-based training, everything of that. I studied that, and I wrote a dissertation about that, and I went all this way, and suddenly I decided, well, that's nice, but I got kind of bored of it, so I decided, well, um, virtual classrooms and webinars, that's what I, what I really like. I like to connect with others like we do here, like this webinar you, you have here. And um, I think this is a really, really great and powerful tool. And I've seen so many people who are like a little shy or whatever. They have, they have great messages to, to share and um, just have no idea how to get them like on the road, how to show uh, on the internet, how to uh, how to show up on the internet like this, so um, I decided to help help with that, and um, I started working most of the time B two B like really big companies, and this year I decided well uh, also entrepreneurs and probably especially entrepreneurs need webinars yes. because big companies they have huge budget as we all know and they have money for everything, but um, like, yeah, online printers or, or small businesses, they do not have the money and they have like several products they could share this way and they could, they could show this way and they could uh, have special, um, special service for their clients. So I decided to work with them too and uh, I really like that. <laughs> That's the way uh, I do it right now. Like I have several small businesses, still some of the big ones because um, I work with them over the years, but uh, I, I started to work more with the small businesses. So um, that's what I do. And maybe you can change the, the slide, yes. next slide, uh, just two slides. There you go. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, here you can see some things that are coming up. Next, uh, I also, it's not just the webinar, the webinar is the main part, but um, I found out that there's a, um, there are similar things you have to know when you do videos for business and do webinars, and uh, so I decided with, with a friend, together we work on an online class for, um, for business videos, like how to start and how to present yourself and how to do the lights and the background and all this what, what, that you have to do for videos and also those things are really important in webinars as we can see like there's no video like here right now so <laughs> we don't have the <laughs> I cannot show you um, the difference uh, of good and bad backgrounds but yeah something like that so um, 
I, I decided like to work with videos too, and um, so there are those main parts, the the webinars and the video, and I also I don't know that's a personal thing. I love Pinterest. I don't know why I love it that much, but uh, I, it's my favorite social media tool. Even though I work more on Facebook and everything, but I really like this Pinterest stuff yeah. and the visualization. So I decided um, also to do a Pinterest class, like how to style, what you can do, how to work on Pinterest as business, not just uh, having some pictures on there, but um, as business, like how to to generate new clients, to to yeah get seen more, like be visual on Pinterest, yeah. like yeah. this. So those are, but that's just a small. Uh, it's it's on here on this picture, but that's just a really small part. The main parts are webinars and video. Okay. I don't know. Is, was that confusing what I told you? No. no. Uh, yeah, let me, oh, Gwendolyn, let me tell you what I heard. So I heard more and more you're beginning to work with entrepreneurs and what you called onlinepreneurs, which I think is a really cool name. <laughs> it's really, I never heard anyone use that before, <laughs> onlinepreneurs. And you yes. are a webinar expert, and you now you're now cooperating with a video expert, and together, um, you know, you cover these two areas of you know webinars and videos, and how to use those in your business to get your message out um, into the world, and and you know show up as as an entrepreneur, but you're also still serving um, your your corporate clients who you've been working with for years. So you you know you're just you've got one foot in both camps, and. Um, you know, also also bringing out some new courses that you're interested in, some um, some other areas like Pinterest and online social media platforms. Correct? Yes. Definitely. I understood you correctly? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's that's about me, I think. Cool. So so know. Gwendolyn, so you you were talking when you first started um, talking with us about you know how you had some English on your website and some German. So w what like what language are you personally marketing in right now? So are you serving more the German market or the international market, or are you trying to figure that out for yourself? Um, yeah, probably I'm trying to figure that out for myself. But no, and the, the main part is in German, yeah. and I have. I think the the English is on here because I have some companies, as I as I said, uh, I started with big companies, and they have um, they, they work international, so I had to do it in German and English, and that's why I was not really sure. And I I like it much better to write down work with me than arbeite mit mir. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of the main points because um, some English sentences sound much better than the German ones, and um, I think. Well, the German clients understand work with me, so um, it looked also better when I wrote it down, <laughs> and so I, I decided to to uh, write it in English. But uh, I think I focused the, the German market; it's not the English market. Okay, and so you've got you know some people here tonight who are thinking, hmm, I wonder if I'm a good joint venture partner for Gwendolyn. So you know, what kind of joint venture partners are you interested in? Like, what kind of people are you interested in working with? Let's say, like, what if you were to do a webinar um, with them together to promote both of your businesses? What would that person look like? Um, oh, that's a good question. Well, <laughs> now I need time to think about that. <laughs> um, I think it would be great someone who, who wants to try out new things on webinars, maybe um, has already some experience with webinars and want to, to do like webinar advanced new ideas because um, I think webinar, like the classical webinar, that's what we all can do, like turn on and talk. Mm -hmm. And um, But I think there are so much more things in webinars you can do, yeah. Just not, not just talking. <laughs> um, and use them in, in several different ways. So that would be great to, to have someone who wants to do some like experience on trying advanced stuff with webinars mm -hmm. and um, just play around with webinars and find out if it works or not. Yeah. And uh, also with video, the same. It's like, like yeah, trying to, to find out new ways to use those tools. Okay, and so here, here on the screen you've got like learn how to do a good webinar. So if I wanted to promote that, uh, that course for you, like do, how often does it start? I mean, how often do you, do you hold that course? Which course do you uh, The learn how to do a good webinar? 
Oh, oh, that is, um, that's just, if you sign up and I wait like until there are 10 people or something on the okay. list, you just um, get directed to the list and then um, I send them uh, a date and we can start like this. So it's not exactly, I cannot tell you if it's like 10 times a year or two times a year. It depends on um, how people are interested in that. Okay. So, and sometimes I have some free webinars, like I think almost every month like that, uh, and that uh, several theme or topics coming up for those webinars, and that's also like learn to, to use a webinar, how to do um, some like visualization for your webinar, how to coach via webinar, all those things like all around webinars, right. and um, yeah, they're just coming up, and, and I write them in my blog. You cannot see my blog on here, but um, I write them in the blog, so, and I promote them via Facebook and everything, so you, you you will hear about that if you keep in touch with me or just follow me somewhere follow me. in this big social media <laughs> universe, <laughs> you will find out about that, it's like that. Very cool, very cool. That's awesome. So anybody here on the call who has a question for Gwendolyn that you'd like to ask, you can go ahead and write that in the questions box right now. And otherwise, Gwendolyn, I guess so if you're going to be in the German-speaking market, then you're going to transition over to us uh, with us to Joint Venture Germany probably, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> you're like, yes, please let me speak German. Really cool. <laughs> <laughs> please let me speak German the next time. That, oh, perfect. That is very cool. Yeah. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely uh, sign up for, for your newsletter and, and see what's going on, especially that Pinterest class is interesting to me because I'm miserable on Pinterest, and I would, I would love to get a little better at that. And, uh, yeah, I think, think that would be helpful. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. Cool, cool. Okay, well, there, doesn't, there don't seem to be any questions. Thank you so much for flirting, uh, Gwendolyn. I much appreciate it. I'm sorry that your, webinar didn't, uh, your, your webcam didn't work. But that was good to hear your voice and see your picture on the screen. And we are going to move on unless there's anything else anybody wants to ask. There are no questions. Okay. So, guys, that was our pitch of, of this evening, and that was our flirt of this evening. And we're going to go back on over to the webinar. Um, so, once again, if you want to find out more about Anurata, that's manifestbydesign.com. And then we've got Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn, your your website is gwendolynrugen.de or .com? No, it's com. .com. Gwendolyn. It's also a decision. I decided com, not de. Yeah. <laughs> it's all a mixture. You are an intercultural <laughs> lady. Exactly. Gwendolynrugen.com. Mine is also .com. So I, I get that. There's the address right there. I already had it in, in the board. Very, very awesome. Yeah. Okay, so... If anybody has any questions or comments that they want to bring, even also about um, JV Europe or moving to JV Germany that we talked about in the beginning, now would be an awesome time to get that out there. So I'm having a look at the questions box. For those of you who came a little bit later, uh, Susanna and I said at the beginning that we're at the end of our six-month pilot phase and we are handing over JV Europe to someone who works in, in English in the, in the European space and we're going to be um, transferring over to JV Germany and doing all the next uh, webinars in the next six months in this format in the German language so that we can um, connect with more German speaking people who are the market that we speak with and we also said that it's open so anybody who is interested in taking over our roles in JV Europe and, and claiming that space please contact us so for those of you who came on a little later so we don't tend, yeah, so what happens to all the members who do not speak German? Yeah, good question, Gwendolyn. So they, yeah, they, so they stay in, in JV Europe. So if someone decides to take that over, then, um, then I hope that someone will, then they'll be sticking with uh, this group in JV Europe. So we, either way, um, we really would love to hear from you guys. So it would help um, myself and Susanna tremendously if you would do the following. We've put together a survey. Susanna, would you mind uh, typing that, um, that link into the, um, uh, chat, into the box. chat box? Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. So they can go there. <clears throat> yeah, Gwendolyn is asking, aren't there even more English-speaking people than German? Well, I'm sure that there are um, more English-speaking people who are working across Europe than Germans 
obviously, um, Gwendolyn, but the thing is, I think for Susanna and myself, since we are targeting the German uh, market only, most of our contacts are here in this space, and that's what is maybe um, keeping the group from, from growing the way that it could. And so I think it needs someone who has more contacts across the different countries um, already. So that was kind of a learning that we had of the first six months. So here's a survey that we put together. Um, and Survey Monkey, where we just ask you, I think there are uh, altogether eight questions or nine questions, um, and we just want to get you know inf information from you, like what did you get out of the six months? Like I see some of your names and I've been seeing you on every single webinar for the last six months, and some of you who have seen um, on three or four of the webinars, and some of you who are just you know, on tonight, but we would really love to hear like what you got out of this time period, if anything. You know, did you meet a JV partner is one of the questions. You know, what were some of the things you learned, even if you didn't have a JV partner? Um, what do you think are some ideas that we could do in the future, things we could have done better? That will really, really inform us and help us to um, keep developing the concept, and also we'll pass that exact information on to whoever decides to take over JV Europe. And um, Otherwise, uh, Susanna and I would like to say thank you. I'm turning back on my webcam. Susanna, maybe you want to do the same. Yeah, I can do it. of course. Yeah. Awesome. Hey. So let's see, I can't, I can't see my my camera, but maybe it's. Uh... But I can see you very well. Yeah. Okay, so I just won't pick. I won't pick my nose, and I just trust that you guys can see me. So um, yeah, so we're going to be um, moving everything to JV Germany. We wanted to say. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for you taking part. It's been such fun for us to do this format, and we really believe that it will work in the right, if the right people are in the right seat. And um, yeah, I'm a little bit sad to see you guys, you know, not to be, have you guys around who aren't German speaking. It's going to make me a little bit teary eyed. But we're going to be continuing on the concept in February. Uh, for those of you who do speak German, you're more than welcome to come with us to Joint Venture Germany. And yeah, we'll, we'll probably be starting back on the first, um, the first Thursday of February. And we'll be posting in the Joint Venture Europe group to let you know how that's going to look in the new, um, the new URLs. So yeah, Susanna, would you like to say something about that? So I could say goodbye to everybody or... Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that you followed us the whole time and it was a really great experience also for me and I'm happy if you could learn a little bit more German so we can <laughs> stay together in, in February. That would be really cool. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. And Arata says, Gwendolyn, I love that online printer. <laughs> she just online printer is that's, really that's cool. So I love cool. it too. That's so cool. I, I love that. I'm gonna use that as well in the future, Gwendolyn. That's you coined a good term there. I love that a lot. Thank you, Mary Claire. You're so you're so welcome as well. Uh, she said, uh, thank you, you guys did a great job. Thank you so much. Thanks for the chance to flirt. You're very welcome, Gwendolyn. <laughs> but that's what we are, yes, we are online printers. This is true. So if you guys want to take the opportunity now when we hop off the webinar to still go and find, uh, go fishing in the Facebook group as we call it and go find the person that you want to flirt with this month. Don't miss that opportunity if that's what you want to do. And yeah, that's it. We send you guys all of our love and you're very welcome, Karen. She says, thank you ladies for all your engagement in JVE. <laughs> I don't know what that word is in, in English. Sometimes I struggle for that myself. And here's the URL that's up for grabs, jointventureeurope.org and info at jointventureeurope.org. And we're going to be talking to you, Hannah. Hannah's um, at the top of my list here to talk with because we want to use the logo moving forward and we need to talk with you about how we're going to, how we're going to do that and all that. But we'll, we'll figure that out later. Okay, guys, so we've got, uh, I think we're right at an hour, almost. Not quite. We're going to... We're going to go a little, a little early and wish you a, an amazing night, a wonderful weekend, a merry, merry Christmas, and a happy new year. And we'll be connected with you on Facebook either way. So I look forward to seeing you there. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.